Welcome back, Doc's Tools. I'm Tom. So, uh, welcome back to a, another episode of I'm gonna, I'll Show You Mine. And uh, today we're going to look at a, um, uh, a boring and facing head. So, um, this is a uh, similar to a, uh, like a Criterion boring head, uh, but this one has the ability to, uh, to dynamically move out while it's running. And so that you can actually face um, features that would be hard to put in the lathe or um, uh, cut internal features such as uh, snap rings and o-ring grooves and things like that uh, in circular features uh, or holes mainly. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we'll go over to the table, I'll get an apron on, I'll drag this thing out, we'll go over to the table, we'll look at it, I'll show you the, the features of the, uh, of the thing and then uh, we'll pop over on the mill and we'll uh, do a little test drive of it and you guys can see how that works. So, uh, pretty cool thing, and uh, I think you guys will like it. So, let's go check it out. Okay, so here's the, uh, here's the uh, boring and facing head, and this is a, a box that I started, uh, I don't know, quite a while ago, that never, and I never finished it. So, let's, let's set that stuff aside for a minute. But this is the, uh, this is the guts of the thing here. And... Um, so I'll just kind of let you take a look at it. And this is a Chandler uh, duplex, it's called. And uh, I don't believe this company's still in business, but uh, this is actually a very, very nice little uh, uh, boring and facing head here. And uh, so it's got a ring on top. And this came from uh, this Dutch toolmaker I used to work with, uh, Fred Van Beber. Uh, he's passed away quite a while ago now, and, uh, but I ended up with this, uh, this boring and facing head here. So uh, this ring rotates here, okay, and uh, you can see that that dial's turning, right? And uh, one rotation of this ring, I think, I think I wrote it down here. Um, so it's at one ten thousandths uh, on the di diameter, one ten thousandths on the diameter per division. So if you start at zero and you move that one. That's a ten thousandths on the bore. Now, in practical purposes, it's not quite that sensitive. Uh, so one rotation, one full rotation of this ring changes the diameter five thousandths. So um, now when I got this, uh, you couldn't look this up on the internet. And uh, so I, I never had the operating instructions for it. And, and it did some things that I didn't know that it did. Once I got a look at the, uh, uh, once I got a look at the, <laughs> the instruction manual, which you can find online now, the the power of the internet, right? Uh, <coughs> anyway, uh, um, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go test this thing, and I'll show you how I use it. Um, um, and and um, it has the ability to stop at a particular diameter too, uh, which is kind of cool. So let's uh, we'll take a stay. Um, take a look at some of the tools here. So there's a a facing tool. There's a little boring tool. And these are just high speed bits here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, and then uh, here's a little grooving tool, okay? And this looks like it was made out of a, a, a key seat cutter that uh, had an accident. Um, and then it has some, um, some offset uh, stuff. So you can, um, you can get larger diameters. You can actually turn ODs with this. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. Uh, all I've ever used it for is boring and um, uh, making internal snap ring grooves uh, and then uh, sometimes facing the bottom of a, um, um, a counter bore if I wanted it real flat for some reason. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go over to the mill and we'll get this thing set up in the mill and uh, I'll show you some of, its, uh, some of its capabilities. Okay, we got it set up in the mill here. All right, and I got a boring, uh, boring tool in it. And I just got a piece of junk material in here that I popped a hole through uh, so you guys can kind of see this in action. So first, let's, uh, let's just fire it up and you can see it running. And then I'll show you, let's see if you can see my hand on this, yeah. So if I hold, if I hold this upper ring, you can see, you see the offsets changing. Okay, and it's coming out, okay. And we'll stop it and you can see that it's shifted out okay let me reverse that and you just put it in reverse to bring it back the other way 
You see it's coming in. And it's a little disconcerting to kind of hold on to something that's rotating like this initially, but trust me, you get used to it pretty quick. <laughs> All right, so I'll show you how I, how I kind of use it uh, initially. And um, um, just for, you know, if you got to open up a hole a considerable amount, let's, let's see, let me get out of the picture there. Okay, so let's just take a pass. I'm just hand feeding this and then what I might do is grab it again okay and then take another pass now I have to stop it so you know, might have to stop it for some chips um, but I think you get the idea is that I can just keep going here I'm just trying to break the chips Huh. I, don't know. I don't know what happened. All right, and so you grab it again, comes out, take another cut, etc. etc. Right? Okay, so that's one, one way you can use this thing. Okay, and it's kind of neat because you can you don't have to stop it and you can just keep going. Um, it's more useful um, trick is uh, in facing. So I'm going to turn the camera off. I'll switch the uh, this boring bar out for this one here that's got a little different tool in it, and then we'll do a little facing with it, and you guys can kind of see that. Okay. Okay. So I got a. Uh, I switched over to a, a facing tool here, um, so we'll, we'll try a little facing cut on this and see how uh, see how that goes. Um, and I've, I've zeroed the the bottom edge of the tool on that on that surface there, so we'll just we'll just go in, uh, let's say ten thousandths or so, something like that. Uh, let's see. Here. Actually, you know, let me uh, let me back it up a little more. Okay, so I just back the tool up a little bit more. All right. okay. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, Let's put a little little uh, lube on there. Let's see what happens. And there she goes. Yeah, the tool's not cutting that great. It's got a little fuzz on the outside edge. get the idea yeah I had to play around with that tool a little bit um, but the finish is good on the uh, on that it's just the uh, huh, what's going on there something's dragging I think Maybe this edge needs to be a little more vertical. I don't know. Um, that's pretty easy to take that fuzz off of there, but uh, um, but the finish on the on the flat surface is what we care about. So you know, if you have a an area that you want to that you want to face uh, that's in an awkward position, something that you can get out in the mill, you can use that to do that. That's bugging me now that uh, if that's doing that. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll play with that tool a little bit and see if I can get it better. So then the next thing we'll try here um, is we'll try uh, this internal groover here, and uh, we'll cut a uh, we'll cut a internal snapping groove. So let's try that. Well, you guys know me pretty well by now. I didn't like that fuzz on that last cut, so let's try another one. I touched up the tool a little bit. Uh, let's see if that makes a difference uh, for facing here. Still pushing up. Still pushing up that corner a little bit. Hmm. Interesting. It's a little better, but not much. So I came up at the end there, which should make that a vertical wall. 
The bottom finish is still real nice. It's just that top isn't. Um, you know, maybe it's just the nature of the beast. Uh, I haven't used this in a while, so uh, um, for that this purpose anyway. So, okay, so let's try the snap ring groove. All right, so I got the uh, uh, the grooving tool uh, uh, mounted in there. But what I want to also show here is the um, it's got a feature that you can use to to stop at a particular diameter. Okay. So, and until I downloaded the instructions, uh, I didn't uh, I didn't know how to do that before. I always wondered what this other little piece was for in here. <laughs> Never figured it out until uh, until now. I always just kind of wung wung it. All right, so let's uh, let's run this out a little bit. Okay, so that's that's cutting a groove in there. Actually, I'm gonna back up just a little bit. All right. So now what we would do? So let's just say that's the diameter that we wanna we wanna cut to. And there's ways of setting that um, uh, so that uh, you know you can set it to a known diameter. So, but that's outside the scope of this. You know, you'd set it on a scrap piece and then move over a certain amount that radius until you touch and then you'd adjust the stop very carefully until uh, until uh, the head stopped at that particular diameter reliably so let's but let's do the I would call it the short method here okay and I'm just gonna run it up and touch it to that and if I'm lucky no, not so lucky Another Allen wrench out. I think this uses all your Allen wrench sizes. <laughs> I don't think this will move, but I'll just go ahead and lock it anyway. Okay, so now we're, we're extended now. So what I want to do is I want to reverse it. Okay. And bring it, bring it back, shrink the diameter down now. Like that. So now we can go down inside. Okay. And I think, I don't know, that looks good to me. Why not, right? Put a little oil in there. Um, yeah, I don't know, I think that speed's okay. Let's just go for it. So it'll start cutting. Uh, making a lot of noise. All right, let's, let's slow that down. Better. Okay. And let it idle a little bit. Yeah, I think that's it. Felt like it went up against the stop, and yeah, it did. Okay, and you can see the tool. Oh, okay, that's what's going on. That's why it felt funny. Oop. Go the other way. I think the uh, uh, it felt a little funny because uh, I think some chips packed in the cutting edge there. So you gotta you gotta remember to. Uh, to back the thing uh, out before you lift it up or else you uh, you spoil your work. So I'm watching this to uh, see when it starts to run concentrically. Right. Coming up. Right like that. We'll come out. Yeah, that's exactly what happened there. We got some chip packing there. But anyway, we got a groove. Um, So one groove, and uh, like I said, you can you can. There's ways of setting that diameter um, uh, more precisely so uh, than that. But I just wanted to 
demo that so you guys could see it. So the way this tool is, it's, it's got, looking at it, it's slightly negative the way it is here. So this tool actually needs to be ground, ground a little bit differently there. Let me uh, I'll spin it so you can see it. So here's the, uh, here's the axis here and you can see the cutting edge is pointing away here. So it's, it would be slightly negative edge. So uh, some chips packed in there. Anyway, uh, I think you get the idea. So that's the uh, the Chandler uh, duplex boring and facing head. Uh, so uh, boring, facing, and snap snap ring groove cutting. So hope you like that.